My name is Joyce Chen. I am a biochemistry major in the Stony Brook University class of 2023. I'm working with Dr. Chi Kuo Hu in the College of Arts and Sciences Department of Biochemistry and Cell Biology. And this summer, I researched the mechanisms behind diapause entry and exit. My lab studies embryonic development in the African killifish and how it can be paused in a stage called diapause. And so my project focuses on the underlying mechanisms of diapause entry and exit. This summer, I learned several lab techniques such as immunofluorescence and in situ hybridization chain reaction to help me visualize and analyze genes in diapause embryos. And I also used my lab's confocal microscope for the first time to help me image. On top of that, I also learned how to dissect embryos under the microscope. And um, I'm still learning how to work with my hands, but every time I see the results of my efforts, I feel tremendously fulfilled. My interest in science was partially influenced by the fact that my grandparents were formerly professors of chemistry, and my grandpa would frequently tell me about his research in cellular membranes and how they interact with the surrounding environments. And so this made me more intrigued about how certain biological processes occur in the world. Being a Valet Fellow pushed me out of my comfort zone to meet new people on campus. After two long years at home due to the pandemic, I was able to reconnect, socialize, and make new friends, especially with the people in my lab and my mentor in particular. My goal in the future is to pursue a graduate degree to become a university professor and researcher, and so I will definitely be using all these experiences that I've acquired this summer to further my career. Uh, additionally, uh, much as my lab mates graciously mentored me, I hope to mentor my own future students in my own lab. i like to thank the Francis Vallée Fellowship Program and the Panafil Foundation for supporting my research experience this summer. And i also like to thank the College of Arts and Sciences faculty and staff for making this collaboration possible.